Hey everybody, welcome back. I don't have a lot of time for this video today. It's gonna to be one shot with no editing, unfortunately, but uh, there's a new version of DLSS Swapper out that adds some really great functionality. It now allows us to uh, change out the DLSS G files, which are the ones for the frame generation. And it also will find all of your games for you. You don't have to go looking, to, especially for people on Steam. You don't have to go looking for these, uh, these game folders anymore. It seems like Microsoft or Sobo changes where the game folders are on a somewhat regular basis. So it's kind of difficult for me, who's a store user, to uh, with any consistency be able to tell you guys where you're going to be able to find these DLSS files, particularly for Steam users. But... The new version of DLSS Swapper is fantastic. I'm going to show you, uh, this is Flight Sim 24. I'm going to show you the name of the game, the install path, and then this is the DLSS version. This is the DLSS G frame gen version. Ray reconstruction, which we don't have in Flight Sim 24. Uh, FSR 3.1, I don't use, but presumably if you are an AMD user, you can change that out. That's the upscaling technology from AMD. You can either change things out here. The other thing you can do, of course, is roll things back. If, if for whatever reason, DLSS 4 doesn't work for you, you can roll it back to version 3.8 or 3.7, whatever you prefer. You come over here into the library tab you're going to see these are all the dlss versions they've got the latest version this is dlss 4 my guess is erone erroneously named 310 um, these are the dlss frame gen files down here the naming convention is the same dlss ray reconstruction if you're playing games other than microsoft flight simulator that have ray reconstruction you can find that there and again down here is more of the amd stuff which is another thing that I don't know anything about because I'm not an AMD user, but that's great if you guys are. You can now get that here in DLSS Swapper as well. So in order to update this, come over here to the DLSS Swapper page on GitHub. I'll put a link in the description. Click here on the installer. I'm gonna ask you where you wanna save the file. I've got the file saved here. This is actually a slight update from yesterday. They released version 1.1 yesterday and they've released 1.1.1 today. I'll close out of that real quick and let's run the installer. And there's that finished. So now I've got version 3.1 or 1.1.1 rather. The other thing is of course, uh, at the end of this week in a couple of what, Thursday, we're supposed to get the new version of DLSS 4 and supposedly it is a day one compatibility Microsoft Flight Simulator 20 and I believe 20 and 2024 but I know Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 supposedly has day one compatibility with DLSS 4 however you know kind of how these things have gone in the past and we don't know whether that's actually going to be the case we don't know how easy it's going to be it should be a one-click change in the NVIDIA app. We don't know that yet for a fact. What we do know for a fact is DLSS Swapper now allows us to change all of this right here in DLSS Swapper. So come Thursday, when the RTX 50 graphics cards come out, along with the new driver and the updated app, we're going to be able to get the driver. It, it might be the same one we've got right now, 571.96. It might be an updated one. Either way, we'll be able to get that through the NVIDIA app. We should be able to get the DLSS files and force them into Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 in the new app or via the new app. But if for whatever reason there's any difficulty with that or it's not working properly, we can do it right here with DLSS Swapper. Great update from them. Again, apologies for the uh, kind of lower quality of the video today. I'm just very busy but I wanted to get this out to you. I hope everybody's doing well. Any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below and I hope everybody's having a great day.